Salem Field in Buffalo, the site of last week's series between the Worcester Red Sox and the Buffalo Bisons. Fun one, a lot of good stuff, including on the mound. As we welcome you here to Salem Field, Cooper Boardman along with you as we recap the series that was between the Woo Sox and the Bisons on the road again. And really the question was coming in, could the pitching continue to do what it has done over the better part of the last month? That's dominate, of course, and boy, early on in this series as we start with what happened over the course of the last week was really all about the pitching. Blue Sox came in with a couple of question marks. One of them was Brandon Walter, who struggled in his first ever AAA outing after a dominant start to his AA season. Well, Walter on Wednesday after a rain out on Tuesday, D liver his first AAA win the strikeout numbers great and was uber successful we wondered on top of that how would josh winkowski fare after some struggles a week ago for really one of the first times in his triple a season after his major league debut uh, winkowski showed no signs of struggle seven innings strikeout after strikeout for the big man one two delivery is swung on and missed but have six strikeouts through five and a third awesome stuff from josh winkowski in this game Winkowski becomes just the second Woo Sox pitcher to work seven full innings in a ball game, and he does it in complete game fashion in game two of a doubleheader with seven innings of work for him. On Thursday, it was a little bit more of a team effort. Connor Siebold set the tone in his first appearance in more than a month coming back from that pectoral injury. He was great. Woo Sox bullpen cleans it up, and Worcester started 3-0 in the series. On Friday night, it was a Woo Sox loss for the first time, though it had nothing to do with Brian Bayo. Bayo, well, I could give you numbers, but really, you just got to see it to believe it. It's the sign from Wong, kicks and delivers a 1-2, check swing, and he went around strike three. Attacking Samad Taylor, the five hitter, 2-2 two -two pitch, got him swinging, slider down and away. 3-2 uh, now, and it swung on and missed. Brian Bayo did not care. His eighth K, 1-2, swing and a miss, and he's got it. The eight strikeouts for Brian Bayo. He has now K'd 42 men in just over 28 innings of AAA work. Those are real numbers. Those are real stats. The dominance has been legit for the young right-hander. Well, on top of what the pitching had done, one of the other reasons why the Woo Sox kept the Bisons off the scoreboard in a big way early on in this series was not even about the guys on the mound. It was about the guys in the field. And this was a team early on in the year that was a little bit up and down in terms of defense. It's not been that way over the course of the last couple of weeks. And here in Buffalo, it has all come to fruition. On Wednesday night, a gigantic relay from Jaron Duran coming home from the plate. A beautiful play. He would tack on a sack fly would-be opportunity where he got the man out at the plate. We saw Duran this week both in center and in right field. But the play of the week came from Grant Williams at third base, not the outfield, but on the infield. It's a play that, yeah, maybe you've seen the highlight, but if you've seen it before, you know you want to see it again. Oh, baseball game, 1-1. Swinging a slow chopper left side, going to be a tough play. Pass Bayo, bare hand stop, Williams throws, in time! Oh my goodness! He had no business getting Groshans, and it frankly wasn't close at first. That was an amazing play, you know, I'm kind of like, I was speechless. Yeah, I just kind of like reacted to when I saw it. It was it was unbelievable. You know the way he got to that ball and threw it right on the money too. It was an unbelievable play. And all this focus on the pitching, on the defense, don't take away from what the Woo Sox have done on an offensive side this week. We kind of wonder what it was going to look like. Rob Ref Snyder, the Woo Sox lost him after he was called up earlier on in the week. Ref just played on Wednesday in both games of the doubleheader. Hadn't seen him since. Obviously, a big congratulations to him as he joins the Red Sox. But you kind of wondered, without that stalwart, without that guy who walks a ton in the middle of the lineup, who was going to pick up the slack? Uh, I honestly didn't even really need to ask the question because Ronaldo Hernandez has been otherworldly. This man, since the start of May, leads the team in batting average and in slugging. That slugging number, well over 500, and he brought the bat from Worcester to Buffalo. Got first base side. 0-1 is swung on and lifted to left field. Back to the wall goes Lopez, and this one's out of here. Ronaldo Hernandez, a deep drive over the left field fence. His fifth home run of the season has opened the scoring for Worcester. It is 1-0 Woo Sox. Yeah, the tone-setting solo shot on Thursday night for Worcester. He would continue that throughout the week, including becoming the first man to homer off of Blue Jays prospect and Buffalo Bisons reliever Adrian Hernandez for the first time this year. 
Hernandez great is catching counterpart Connor Wong also a big part of the Wu Sox offensive success this week. He had five hits in the first three games of the series and no matter whether one of those guys is catching and the other is DHing, the offensive production has continued along in a big time way. On top of that, Jalen Davis had a really good week. He was five for his first 10. Ryan Fitzgerald added a home run of his own despite some struggles in the months of uh, late May, that is, and early June. And the Woo Sox offense doing very much what it needed to do, coupled with that scoreless stretch of 22 innings from the Woo Sox pitching staff. Altogether, thanks to a win on Sunday, the Woo Sox win the series, and they've now not lost the series in more than a month. They will take that and try to continue that back home in Worcester when we come back. From Buffalo, I'm Cooper Boardman.